Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you all over the Cartwright Water Park in Monticello, New York, right down the road from Resorts World Catskill Casino. Alright, let's check out the uh, second floor area. So this is the bar. I forget the name of it. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the description. But it's been closed throughout our trip, which is a little disappointing, but understandable with staff shortages. There's a gift shop over here and the Highline Coffee Bar. And then let's see what else is over here. There's another set of restrooms. Oh, okay, so this is the, this is the convention center down here, which I assume is closed. So we are on the fifth floor of the Cartwright and we booked a king bunk bed room you get a shower uh, and tub combo in this room, toilet. Now this is a, uh, oh, and they have uh, soaps on the wall over there. This is a double bunk bed, or this is a bunk bed room with a king. <clears throat> Here is the sink and you get towels and toiletries down below. A decent sized uh, closet here with uh, hangers and an ironing board in case you're getting fancy. And then the uh, double bunk beds. There's double bunk beds on each side of the separate bunk room. It's a little small, but hey, for kids, you know, who cares? And then uh, down here we have the TV. There's a Keurig with cups in this room, a uh, fridge microwave and ice bucket, fridge. This is an adjoining room that can go to the other side. Here's the bed. And uh, let's give the bed, uh, let's give the bed the jump test. It's, uh, it's firm, it's, it's nice. And uh, telephone, couch. Upset toddler, not included. Table with chairs, air conditioning, and heat is uh, right here on the floor. All right, so now we're at Van Winkle's Alley, which is part of the arcade, and Harvey Wallbangers. We had dinner there last night. It was uh, pretty tasty, pretty delicious. The service was a little slow, but they had a big table in front of us, so that's kind of understandable. Here's Eat, 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 which is the buffet. Quick look out the window here. Here's the hotel tower. Pops, shh, Pop Sweet Shop. Very obviously a candy store. Now, if it wasn't negative 25 outside, just kidding, it's not really that cold, but uh, they have fire pits and uh, they have fire pits and cabanas outside to hang out under. Got a foot of snow the other day though, so uh, nothing's gonna be happening out there for a while. <clears throat> oh, 
and here's the rest of the arcade area. They have all your typical arcade games. We'll be hitting that up later, a little later on. Whoa, that is a huge claw machine. I wonder if you get scammed twice as hard. And here is the huge indoor ropes course. The only ropes course I've seen that's bigger... Rude. <laughs> the only ropes course I've seen that's bigger is at Destiny USA in Syracuse. Uh, if you've ever been there, it's like in a huge canyon area of a mall. And uh, here's the entrance to the water park, so let's go in. So they do search bags. Hello. And here is the entrance to the water park. And the towels are right to the left when you walk in. It's 84 degrees under the dome. The Surfside Grill is also right to the left when you walk in under these massive wood beams. So walking through, we have the uh, later gator crossing, which has that's the sound of the bucket getting ready to dump. Uh, the later gator crossing, which has rope swing and basketball. The puddle ducks pool, which has a bunch of little mini slides for kids to play on. There's the bucket dumping up ahead. This is called Cartwright Island up here. And uh, I'll show you guys some footage of the slides from inside of Cartwright Island. up above you have the uh, mezzanine. All right, so we rented an upper deck cabana. Uh, well, we didn't rent it. It came with our ultimate adventure package, which I'll put details of it up on the screen uh, so that you guys can see it. But basically it included a ton of uh, arcade tokens, arcade tickets, the use of this cabana that we're in now, and um, one or two other benefits, but yeah, I'll throw the, I'll have the, the details up on the screen in case I forget something. But here's our upper deck cabana. You get a TV, a mini fridge, plugs on the walls, a, a table for two, another little deck table here, a couch and a chair that I'm currently sitting on, and a ceiling fan, which you are totally going to need because it is blazing, blazing hot out here. So here's the upper deck, and you get the two lounge chairs in addition to everything that's in the cabana. There's a bar up here with some really cool looking artwork stuff. And there's a whole bunch of seating up here. It's right above the flow rider, which is kind of loud. Uh, that guy's killing it. So yeah, uh, and then over here is the island for kids along with all the bigger rides up there. And then there's more seating and more cabanas down that way. The flow rider is sort of underneath the uh, mezzanine level. And then you have more chairs over here. 
and then straight ahead, uh, and I'll show you guys some footage of this as well. Straight ahead is the um, Lazy River. I don't know why my brain doesn't work sometimes. Now, one thing that's unfortunate given global events is they are short on staff, so they are having to rotate rides on a regular basis because they don't have enough lifeguards. And then straight ahead up here, we have the uh, bigger slides for bigger adults and, and children, some of them. Uh, time Warp, Jiggity Jaggity, the Kraken, and the Nor'easter are all right here. Some of these are tube rides and some of these are rides you get at the top. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it real well, but there's a blue slide that curves around to the outside. That one is not finished yet. And then this big yellow tube here uh, that looks like nothing's happening with it. And it's also, you can see it up top there. This one is also not finished. They haven't. So, we just went on time warp. My brain feels warped. And now uh, we're taking a walk around the rest of the facility. So, after your bigger slides, you have a pathway that basically leads nowhere but the saltwater pool. And there's more cabana rentals. We're here midweek, so there's not really a whole lot of people here which is actually kind of nice. We haven't had to wait in line for anything, really. Uh, it's been great. So we've come full circle now. We basically did a giant circle around the whole facility. We went on time warp. We went on some of the smaller slides. We did a lot. <laughs> So yeah, the rest of this pathway just takes you back to the main entrance that we walked by in the beginning. And there's just more seating and chairs and tables here. All right, now we're gonna check out Affinity Springs. And basically it's just like the name sounds. It's a spring-fed pool that is uh, using salt water instead of chlorine. So let's check it out. And you can actually swim from the inside portion, which is super warm, to the outside portion, which is super cold this time of year. I think it's in the low 20s outside, which is actually an improvement because it was in the negatives uh, recently. So consider yourself lucky, or consider myself lucky this time. The door is really heavy. Oh, it's so bright, huh? Wait, wait. 